Hey guys, welcome back. My name is John Sandoval and this is Soul Rhythm Guitar Part 2. On Part 1 of the Soul Rhythm Guitar series, we talked about the G major chord and focused on little embellishments that you can add within the G major chord using the G major scale and tiny little other things. Today, since we're already kind of in that G tonality, let's do G minor. So I'm just doing a straight up G minor 7. I actually like to do this one right here. There's plenty of videos that I can kind of show you, but... I like to do this when it kind of frees up my fingers to kind of move a little bit. And we can start with this groove. If you notice, I'm using my fingers. I can also use a guitar pick. And I'm also, when I'm playing the G minor, I'm approaching it from half step below and I'm sliding up. So you get that nice soulful kind of sound. So how can we possibly start adding embellishments? Well, let's start with our good old minor pentatonic scale and the key of G. And let's focus on these notes which is F and G, flat 7 and the 1 of the scale. You can do so much with this, but here's an example you can do. I like to use my fingers, especially on that F and G. I use my thumb so I can give it that, like plucking, kind of that slapping, bass slapping kind of approach. Nice and tight and funky. Another really nice embellishment that you could do is, So I'm actually, as I'm approaching it, half step below, I'm also going half step higher to that A flat minor 7, and then back down to the G minor 7. Almost like that James Brown, like... You know, that kind of thing but more in that Neo Soul, kind of in that Erica Badu, D'Angelo, Jill Scott kind of sound. So here's that groove. So let's do that with the groove. super bluesy, soulful embellishment that we can add would be uh, doing the flat 7 to the 1 again but repeating that same pattern going down one string to the G string B flat to the C which would be the, the 3, the flat 3 to the 4 and then tapping into one of our favorite notes ever uh, that's the blue note 
the flat five. So the embellishment would be. If you notice, that has to be quick. Obviously you can do tons of different rhythms, but for now we'll do. So here's the lick. Also in part one we talked about adding the pinky, so we were in that G chord. You can do the same thing in this minor shape, which would make it a minor 9. So you could try something like this. One last one I can show you, this is one of my favorites. Again, super simple, very bluesy, it's got that Clapton thing, the John Mayer thing, that Stevie Ray Vaughan thing, very soulful, you can apply it again in really any genre. It's coming out of your minor pentatonic scale. So out of that note right there, your flat seven, which is really an octave higher from that. What we're gonna do, we're going to slide. It's always like doing this. Up an octave higher, but instead of playing each note, we're just going to slide from that note. So you get something like this. Alright, cool. So let's review all the embellishments. Embellishment one. Embellishment two. Embellishment three. Embellishment four. Embellishment five. I know I always say this, but man, grab these embellishments, play them in any situation you're in, whether it's rock, whether it's pop, whether it's blues, jazz, soul, funk, anything that you're playing, you can easily incorporate these. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you can get some notifications. Leave a comment below, I would love to hear from you. Let me know what you think about the video. Give me some suggestions on what we can do next. Again, my name is John Sandoval. See you guys soon.